Right, let's get straight to the point. How do I make money with a digital business business online? And how can you make money with a digital business online? So just notice that I've said digital business. I'm not going to tell you to go and create some trash on Amazon. And I'm not going to tell you to uh, do some drop shipping. So uh, I'm going to tell you how to actually make money with a digital business, a startup a company. So I'm going to set four minutes on my timer so I keep this concise. So the first thing, uh, the very key point to what I'm saying is, is... Um, the product comes second. So there's a, a lot of people jump into digital businesses and they'll create a shop on Shopify or something like that. And then they'll create products in that shop. So you've got a shop, uh, but where are the people come into the shop from? That's the very, very expensive thing when we make digital products. So I could create a shop on Shopify today. I could launch today, but I'm going to have to pay for advertisement from YouTube ads, or Etsy, from uh, Facebook, to drive that traffic to my site. That's why shops on high streets are expensive because they have natural traffic, people going past, they come into the shop, they buy the product. So uh, building a physical business is a lot easier than building a digital business because you, you just buy a shop in the location with the most traffic. Uh, and the traffic is the key thing to making a profitable business. So if I was starting again from scratch, I would spend a whole year making free content. Uh, so in my case, I make videos on uh, UX design, on digital design, on entertainment, uh, all around that subject. Then you get an audience who is interested in that subject. So if you're making a shop uh, that was selling gym wear, you would make uh, interesting YouTube channel, interesting articles on the gym, on workout routines in that in that vein. Uh, so you would you should spend a long time doing that. Uh, and then over the time, you will have all that articles and videos. They live forever. I've got videos six years ago, which are still getting loads of views. Um, then they start to warm to you, and that's called a warm audience. And this is the key. Uh, you can then drive that audience to where you want it. So you don't actually need to even make the digital product. You could drive your audience to someone else's product, and that's called affiliate marketing. But the key to this is you're not paying for the traffic because you're not going to make any profit that way, and you're going to go bust pretty quickly because uh, it, it, it's very, very hard to get a digital marketing correct. So make your... Get, get an audience. That's the key thing. If I was going back, I would just spend a year solely doing that, doing content every day. So then you then make a product and that could be your shop on gym clothes. In, in my case, it's a it's a course. So I drive traffic from my channels, LinkedIn, YouTube to the course. The course is when you spend time and you make something that you're actually proud of. Um, and you can spend time doing that because you know you're going to have an audience to drive them uh, somewhere Um so then you then put out on your social media accounts the product that you're going to sell. And then from that product, you then you then make sales. But you'll get all these articles online, all these YouTube videos. Everyone's like saying, oh, I make $10,000 a month or something like that. But what you really want to know is how much profit do they make? Now, if you're driving sales through organic traffic and it's digital, 90% of that, a made-up figure, is going to be profit. You're still going to have expenses like digital. Um, you're going to have, you, sometimes you pay affiliate marketers to bring you traffic sometimes you pay for advertisement sometimes you pay for video equipment sometimes you pay for hosting fees you know there's there's costs involved in the digital product but but then you'll get profit out of that and then that's how you have an evergreen digital business so i could then um expand like i'm going to expand my youtube channel and start talking about other digital related things i can then make more digital courses i could even make free courses drive traffic to that and then expand with more courses from there but the key thing is I'm educating people and you should be educating people, uh, building an audience who likes you or your brand and then you drive traffic to it. And that's the key thing where a lot of startups fail. They're, um, they're not really spending the time to generate the, the audience. And even when you have an audience, you could send them an email and you could say, hey, what product do you want? You're going to find out a lot by asking the audience and tailoring the content to them. So there you go. Three seconds left. I hope that explained it.